Hi everyone, welcome to Circle Time. My name is Stella, je m'appelle Stella, and welcome. I'm so excited to see you today. Aujourd'hui, today, we are going to be doing Circle Time in French, en français. So grab your instruments, your maracas, or your tambour, your little drums, and we're going to say bonjour to one another. We're going to say hello to each other in French. Okay. Ready? Un, deux, trois. Bonjour. Good. Excellent. Now we are going to sing bonjour together. Okay? Un, deux, trois. Bonjour les amis. Bonjour. Bonjour les amis. Bonjour. Bonjour les amis. Bonjour les amis. Bonjour les amis. Bonjour. Bonjour. Bonjour tout le monde. Bonjour. How are you? Comment ça va? Comment ça va? How are you? Well, I am doing really well. I am doing excellent. Comment vas-tu? How are you? Très bien. Really good? Okay, that is excellent. Today, I'm so excited. We have two stories that we are going to be reading today, and one of them is on counting. One of them is about compter, counting in French. So let us read that. This is called Counting on Community. Counting on Community. How do you count on your community? How do you count on the people who are in your life? Maybe your teachers, your parents, your guardians, your friends. How do you count on them? Living in community, it's a lot of fun. Let's count the ways. Let's start with one. And one in French is un. On va commencer avec un. One stuffed piñata for every holiday. Un piñata. Très bien. Two neighbor friends always there to play. Deux amis, deux voisins que je suis toujours capable de jouer avec. Un Deux. One, two, deux. Good. Three urban farmers knee deep in the mud. Trois fermiers. Un, deux, trois. One, two, three. And now we're on numéro quatre. Quatre pommes de terre. Four potatoes. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Quatre pommes de terre, four potatoes. Un, deux, trois, quatre. Quatre pommes de terre. After quatre comes numéro cinq. Five chunks of chalk. Il y en a cinq. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq. And do you know what colors these are? Do you know, est-ce que tu connais les couleurs? We have jaune, rouge, vert, mauve, purple, et bleu, blue. And qu'est-ce qu'ils sont en train de dessiner? What are they drawing on the ground? Je vois des papillons. Butterflies, papillons. Do you know how many butterflies there are here? Un, deux. Trois, quatre, cinq. Five butterflies, cinq papillons. And I see the number cinq also in this picture. Can you see it? Look around. Do you see le numéro cinq? Do you see the number five? Yep, it is right over here. Numéro cinq. 
And what comes after numéro six? Six music makers who totally rock. Yes, six musiciens. I'm sure that there are some musicians here as well. Six. Okay. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Six musiciens. Which one is your favorite instrument? Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six. Wow. Okay. Sept bicyclettes et des roulants and helmets, des casquettes pour partager. Oh, do you ride your bike? Maybe you can't ride your bike right now, your bicyclette right now, but I think that spring is coming right around the corner. Le printemps s'en vient. Eight picket signs showing that we care. Huit. Un. Deux. Trois. Quatre. Cinq. Six. Sept. Huit. Eight picket signs. Nine tasty dishes. Yummy, yummy potluck. Do you see all this yummy food? Neuf. Différents plats à manger. What is your favorite food to eat? And finally, we have the number 10. 10 hefty hens. Wait, is one of them a duck? Six. Oh my goodness. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Can you count to 10? 10. Good. That is awesome. Awesome counting. So, here we go again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Very good. That was some really good counting, everybody. Bien fait, vous avez très bien compté. Now, I want to see if you can help me figure out what I can use to measure some objects that I have. So, we are going to look at how long something is. And when we want to look at how long something is, we are looking at the length. I want you to tell me. I'm going to bring up an object and I want you to tell me, okay, yes, we're going to use length for this or mass. And mass is how heavy is it? Okay. And then we're going to look at capacity. And that means how many things can I hold? in it. So you are going to tell me if you're, if I'm going to use length, mass, or capacity. Okay. So let's go over this one more time. Length is how long is it? Mass is how heavy is it? And capacity is how much can I put in it. Okay? So we are going to look at that. All right. So like I said, length is how long is it? Mass is how heavy is it? And capacity is how many things can I put in it? Can you think about some stuff in your room maybe or wherever you are where you're like, oh, I want to figure out how long this is or I want to figure out how heavy this is or I want to figure out how many things can I put in here? Can you look for something around you? And we're going to figure this out together. Okay, again, that's how long is it? How heavy is it? 
And how many things can I put in it, inside of it? Okay, so I have something for you. Do, 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 do. <gasps> oh, qu'est-ce qu'on peut se de Ouf. Bon, dear, what can we ask ourselves? Are we going to ask, hmm, I wonder how long this is? Or maybe we can ask, how heavy is this? What about, can I put things in here? How much can I fit in here? What do you think? Okay, what question? I think I'm going to ask, hmm, how long is this? <sighs> yeah. I think some of you might agree with me. Here, let's try that again. So this is the beginning. Do, 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 do. Okay. What do you think? Do you think this is really long? Or do you think this is not really that long? Okay. We'll come back to that. Okay. Next, I have something that's also long. Huh? C'est rose. It's pink and it's a boa. <laughs> a boa. So let's see. Are we going to ask how long is it? How heavy is it? Or how much can I put in it? What are some of the questions we can ask ourselves? Hmm. Let's see. Let's see with long hold. Did I get it out? Yes, here we go. All right, so for how long is it? Let's see. This is the beginning. So we're going to do, 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 do. I think I can ask myself, how long is this boa? How long is it? Do Maybe I can also ask myself, huh, how heavy is it? Because if I'm going to put it around my neck, I want to know, is it heavy? Is it not heavy? Okay, I will tell you, it is not that heavy, but it is very long and it's beautiful. I love the color. C'est rose. Okay, I have something else okay oh let me see oh i need two hands two oh i have this big box in what okay what can i ask myself how long is it maybe yeah it's pretty long isn't it what about oh how heavy is it? I think that's also a good question to ask. And if I open it up, how many stuff can I put in it? <laughs> and all these feathers that fell all on me. What? How many stuff can I put in it? Those are really good questions to ask about this very heavy ooh, box. I'm going to put it down. Okay, I have another question for us. I have these glasses. Cool. They are vert. They are green. So, what can I ask myself? Can I ask? Hmm, how long are these glasses? How long are they? Or maybe also, how heavy are they? Do you think I can ask, how many things can I put in here? I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, thank you for playing this game with me to figure out how long and how heavy or light these items are. Good job. Bravo. So again, the questions you can ask yourself are, 
How long is it? How heavy is it? And how much can I hold in it? Or how much can I put in it? Those are really awesome questions. Okay. So now we are going to be reading a story about a young girl named Stella. I know it's it's not about me. We just have the same name. Named Stella. And she's going to make a big snowman. So I want you to ask yourself, are you going to ask how long is it? How heavy is the snowman? Or how much can you put in the snowman? I want you to figure out what question you will ask. Stella Gen de Neige. Stella, Queen of the Snow. Let's look at this. And do you know how to spell Stella? This is how you spell my name. S-T-E-L-L-A. There are two of the same letters in my name. S-T-E-L-L-A. Do you know what those letters are? Two of the same letters. L-L. L-L. Good. Double L's. Okay. Sacha regarde les gros flocons blancs qui dansent dans le ciel. Sacha is looking at the big white snow that is dancing in the sky. C'est sa toute première tempête de neige. It's his very first snowstorm. Have you had your first snowstorm yet? Do you remember what it was like? What did it look like? Did it look like this? Lots of snow outside. What did it feel like? Was it really cold? What did it smell like? <sighs> did it smell like hot chocolate? What did it taste like? Maybe you went outside and stuck your tongue out ah, in the snow. Maybe. I don't know what you did. I don't remember my first tempête de neige, but I do remember the last tempête de neige we had not long ago. C'est beau, n'est-ce pas, Festella? C'est très petit. C'est très blond, dit Sacha. Et ça m'étourdit un peu. Viens, Stella, sortons. So Stella told Sasha, let's go, let's go outside. Look at them. Oh, Stella and Sasha. Their names start with the same letter. Do you know what letter Stella et Sasha commence avec? Oui, c'est la lettre S, the letter S. La neige est tellement... What? The snow is so cold. Est-elle dure? Is it hard? Sasha asked, is the snow hard? Elle est froide comme une glace à la vanille, dit Stella, et douce comme le poil d'un bébé lapin. So Stella told Sasha, don't you worry, the snow is as soft as a la." A bunny. Est-ce qu'on peut manger les flocons de neige? Can we eat the snow? Demande Sacha. Mais oui. Well, yes, dit Stella. Les ours polaires en mangent un gros bol tous les matins pour le petit déjeuner. Stella said that there are polar bears that eat snow for breakfast. Avec du lait? With milk, asks Sasha. Oui, dit Stella. Yes, says Stella. Oh, is Stella telling the truth? Do polar bears eat snow with milk for breakfast? Faisons un bonhomme de neige. Let's make a snowman, propose Stella. Un bonhomme de neige, s'étonne Sasha. 
Oui, dit Stella, un bonhomme énorme, gigantesque. Yes, said Stella, we are going to build a snowman. It is going to be gigantic. Pourquoi veux-tu qu'il soit si gros? Why do you want it to be so big? Asks Sasha. Parce qu'il mange beaucoup. Because he eats a lot, says Stella. Ah oui, est-ce que ça mange un bonhomme de neige? Et qu'est-ce que ça mange un bonhomme de neige? So Sasha wants to know, hey, Stella, what does a snowman eat? So look at Stella's snowball. What would you ask yourself? How long is it? How heavy is it? Or how much can you put in it? What question would you ask? How long? How heavy? Or how much can you put in? Look at it one more time. Oh, yeah. I think I would ask, how heavy is it? <gasps> oh my goodness, wait until you see it. De tout, répond Stella. It eats everything. Icebergs, igloos, penguins, caribou, de glaçons, des garçons? S'inquiète Sasha. So Sasha thinks that snowmen eat little boys. Is that true? Mais non, répond Stella. En es-tu bien sûr? demande Sacha. Allons patiner sur les tons, fait Stella. Let's go skating. Sasha's really sad because Sasha thinks that snowmen eat little boys. And Sasha is a little boy. But no. Où est l'eau? demande Sacha. En hiver, dit Stella, l'eau a si froid qu'elle se transforme en glace. Sasha wants to know, hey, where is the water? And then Stella says, hey, you know what? In winter, it gets so cold that the water turns into ice. Can you point to Stella's patins? Stella's skates? Les patins de Stella? Her skates? Yeah. Have you gone skating yet? Maybe you've seen somebody else go skating? Huh? Mais où sont les grenouilles? demande Sasha. But, 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 but where are the frogs? asks Sasha. Où sont les poissons et les tortues? And where are the fish? Where are the turtles? Where do you think they are? Do you see them? I don't see them either. Ils dorment sous la glace, dit Stella, de tout petits lits blancs. Tu viens patiner? Okay, okay, Sasha, look, look, look. They are just sleeping under the ice, okay? Are you coming skating? Je ne pense pas. I don't think so, says Sasha. J'ai peur de les réveiller. I'm scared to wake them up. Ne t'inquiète pas. Don't worry about it. Ils ont le sommeil lourd. Another one of our words. Lourd. It means heavy. She says, don't worry about it. They sleep really heavy. Come on. Pas tout de suite, pas Sacha. J'écoute les grenouilles ronfler. Not so fast, says Sasha. I am listening to the frogs Snoring. Oh, dit Sacha. Que m'arrive-t-il? Il y a des petits nuages qui sortent de ma bouche. Oh my goodness, what is happening to me, said Sasha. There's little nuage clouds that are coming out of my mouth. That's what Sasha is doing. And Sasha's like, what's going on? There's clouds coming out of my mouth. Listen, Sasha, Stella says, when it's cold outside, your words freeze. 
Lorsqu'il fait froid dehors, tes mots gèlent. That's an interesting way of looking at it. Et chaque mot devient un nuage de formes différentes. Tu vois? And every time you speak, a word becomes a different cloud. Wow! Je ne sais pas encore lire, dit Sacha. Alors, construisons un fort, Festella. OK, let's build a fort. D'où vient la neige? Where does the snow come from? Asks Sasha. Où va-t-elle en été? Where does it go in the summer? We are going to be asking ourselves that question very soon because I think, again, spring is coming right around the corner. Combien de flocons y a-t-il dans une boule de neige? Combien? Oh, we know that question. How many can we fit in it? Sasha asks, how many flocons de neige fit in a snowball? How many snowflakes fit in a snowball? That is a con, combien question. That is a capacité. How much? How much, right? How many flocons de neige can fit in a snowball? What a beautiful question. But Stella says, oh, Sasha. I don't know. Je ne sais pas. Pas tout de suite, répond Sacha. Not yet, says Sacha. I am counting les flocons de neige. Sacha grimpons jusqu'au sommet de la montagne, propose Stella. Let's climb up to the top of the mountain, says Stella. Why? Pourquoi? Ask Sasha. Pour faire de la luge, dit Stella. How long do you think it'll take them to walk up the mountain? How long? De la luge, fait Sasha. Est-ce que nous irons très vite, plus vite qu'un oiseau? Since Stella says, hey, look, we're going to go down that hill faster than a bird. Plus vite que le vent and faster than the wind. Ah bon, dit Sacha. Well, Sacha. Et comment on s'arrête? And just how are we going to stop? S'arrêter, Christella. Stop, says Stella. Who would want to stop? Allez, Sacha. On y va. Come on, Sacha. Let's go. Sasha is not having it. Je crois que je vais descendre à pied, dit Sasha. Well, you know what, Stella? I think I'm going to go down this hill by walking. What do you think, Sasha? Uh, Est-ce que les chiens ont froid? And aren't dogs cold? Asks Sasha. No, Stella says. They wear jackets, and that's their fur. And what about birds? asks Sasha. Not at all, says Sasha. They wear boots in the winter, like mine. <laughs> oh, Stella, 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 Stella. Can we make snow angels, says Stella? Est-ce que les anges de neige volent dans le ciel? Do snow angels fly in the sky? Asks Sasha. And do they sing? Look at them making their snow angels. Oh, Sasha is just full of questions. Yes, Stella. Listen. Do you hear? Yes, Sasha says. I hear. Wow. What a beautiful story. What a beautiful story. So thank you so much for joining me for Circle Time. Merci beaucoup. I hope you had a good time. J'espère que vous avez bien aimé. 
and let's sing like those angels are au revoir song. Oh, uh, I'm going to put my glasses on. Oh, uh, les amis, au revoir. Au revoir, les amis, au revoir. Au revoir, les amis, au revoir, les amis, au revoir, les amis, au revoir. Au revoir. Bye, friends. See you next time.